45 million Americans have student loan debt. The outstanding debt is even a big topic in the 2020 presidential race. Today, it will be the topic of conversation here locally for one lawmaker. Our Abigail James joining us live with what that lawmaker is doing and the impact that this has on just so many people, Abby. Yeah, Joe, well, studies have shown that student loan debt has led to people putting off marriage. It is, um, it's taken a bite out of the housing market, and it's also prevented people from saving for retirement. And that is exactly why Congresswoman Sharice Davids is holding this roundtable discussion today to talk about the issue. Now, the discussion will be held at Johnson County Community College from 4 to 5 p.m., and it's open to the public. They'll have several panelists ranging from professors, young professionals, and financial aid officers who will all share their personal experiences with student loan debt. Now, one of the panelists, and Andy, Fogel is a financial aid officer at JCCC and he knows two different sides of the issue as someone in debt and as someone who assists students in finding financial aid. Now he says he'll help students figure out options for paying their loans back, whether it's reducing their monthly payment or postponing them, though he says those options are only short term. I think there would need to be some fundamental changes in the way that uh, student aid is is available and processed in order for um, changes to happen long term for, to, for student loans to benefit the students. Now, Congresswoman Davids has pushed two bills to address the problem of student loan debt. And just last week, Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, he went ahead and introduced a measure to cancel $1.6 billion uh, to, to um, an undergraduate and graduate loan debt. For now, reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a good discussion because so many people are feeling the effects of this. It is hard to save whenever you have these huge payouts you have to make. So, all right, thank you, Abby. We appreciate it.